Jackson Peter, an Uber driver based in Dar es Salaam, recently switched from using gasoline to compressed natural gas CNG in his car. He says he did it for the environment and his wallet. I noticed that fuel prices were rising and I didn't know until when the prices would continue to rise. Also, using gas is less expensive and better for the environment compared to petrol and diesel. It costs at least 1,000 US dollars to convert a car to compressed natural gas in Tanzania. It's a price many car users find more affordable, even though the government does not subsidize the charge. The Tanzanian government aims to power 8,000 cars with natural gas in Dar es Salaam alone. Officials say, so far, more than 2,000 vehicles have made the switch since the initiative began in 2018. At the conversion center located at the Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology, there's a steady stream of customers. <laughs> With increasing awareness and education about natural gas usage in Tanzania, the number of customers has grown rapidly from one to thousands. Projections indicate over 6,000 customers by 2024-2025, reflecting the positive response as more Tanzanians embrace the benefits of using natural gas in vehicles. The Tanzanian government has embraced the 2015 Paris Agreement to limit global warming mitigate the impacts of climate change and build an environmentally sustainable future. Until the year 2030, the aim of Tanzania is to make sure that the amount of hazardous gases emission is reduced by up to 30 to 35 percent according to the assessment that was conducted previously. We know that these gases come from various areas like the burning of forests, charcoal and cars. So with this trend of using natural gas in our country, we believe we will reduce the emission of these gases to that extent. Besides encouraging cars to switch to CNG, the government has banned the use of firewood and charcoal by private and government institutions beginning in 2025. The government is also shifting investments to alternative energy sources, including solar energy, geothermal power, wind energy and hydropower. Meanwhile, Jackson is confident his switch to CNG will pay off, anticipating significant profits while prioritizing environmental conservation. Charles Combe, for VA News, in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.